Hey, today I'm going to be showing you seven ways to create a lot of strength in your dough. And we're starting with the autolysis. Just mix flour and water and stir it together with your hand. This makes sure that the gluten has a lot of water and you're creating a superb gluten network. You will save time because you don't have to knead as much. Autolysis is really amazing, creating a lot of strength. Do it for an hour or so. And you can see me here pulling the dough and look how much it came together. Actual kneading. So yes, get started with kneading your dough. I'm adding my starter, I'm adding the salt, and then just do a little bit of kneading. There is not really a special technique. Um, just pull the dough, stretch it out. That's going to create you an excellent gluten network, giving you a lot of strength in your dough. I'm typically doing this for around three minutes or so. Bench kneading. I find this method to be superb. You are just going to take the dough and you're going to be starting to shape the dough like you would normally shape your final loaf. This method really adds so much strength. On top of that, you can also learn how to shape your bread and you can start working with the dough. It's going to be a little bit sticky, but don't worry. It's a great way to practice and it creates so much strength. Lamination, or some people also just call this folding. Take out your dough again, put it on your wetted surface and lay it out flat. Then afterwards, take your dough and fold it on top of itself. By doing so, you are making sure that the sticky side sticks to itself and you are creating a lot of strength. Just look how the dough stays together already. Very good. Coil folding. During your fermentation, I've actually been doing this in the morning, um, that's why it degassed slightly, but during your fermentation, if you have time, try to do this every hour, do a coil fold. It's a really great way to give additional strength to your dough. You're making the dough stick to itself again by flapping it over itself. And this method is so gentle, it does not degas your dough. In my opinion, this is the best way how to do stretch and folds. Pre-shaping. Before shaping your actual bread, you can give your bread a pre-shape, especially after you bulk fermented multiple loaves. For this, take your dough and place it on this kitchen surface. Make sure it's not watered. You want your dough to stick. Now take your bench scraper and slowly tuck it over the surface. Just be very, very gentle and this creates additional strength as well. And now the actual shaping. When shaping your bread, opt for very, very tight shaping. So take that dough and uh, stick it to itself. Roll it out, roll it in very tightly, and this is going to give you additional strength as well. So that's it. I recommend you to try this out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, uh, leave a comment, and happy baking, everybody.